Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is buying <laughs> some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots <gasps> of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you like, George? Shoes! Those are bowling shoes. George loves to go bowling. And he loves bowling shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! Those are tap dancing shoes. George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. George oh. loves clown oh. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. Oh. Uh, shoes! Shoes! <laughs> George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like <gasps> new shoes that are just like <laughs> his old shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Today, Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese. Oh. And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. 
<laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Cheese! <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig wants to take a photo with Pepper and George <laughs> by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody! One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye. But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, the Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh! Hi, George! Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. With a one and two and one, two, three, four! Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time. Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? Yes! Are you having fun, George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it! Well done, Pepper. Thank you! Thank you! <gasps> oh. Oops! Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry. Happens all the time. That's okay. I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping, bubbles, popping away. Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert, too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. <laughs> pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert, and everyone really loves pop pop popping bubbles. Squish! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. Ah. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course, you can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges, but it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's okay, because next up we have the juice stomper. Oh. 
The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green, so... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie! And this one? It's mm. lots of colours! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa! You've created a brand new type of juice! It's rainbow juice! <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -umptious. Ooh! But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm. <laughs> this is apple juice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun! Well done, Edmund. This room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper, and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea. Whee! Hooray! We did it. Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa! room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh, I've got it! But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. 
<laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. <laughs> Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Ooh. And that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Peppa is taking a big uh, runner. But the sand oh. is very slippery. <laughs> didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well done, George. I'll just have to keep trying. <laughs> Pepper is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. Oh, oh, my ice cream. Aha. Uh -huh. uh. But oh. nothing seems to be working. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Oh. At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. <laughs> oh, oh dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing, but there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. A super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead, like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! <laughs> Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? 
It's another fun way to play. Try Pedro. Okay, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Pepper and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> What's this? Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. <laughs> Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. It never rains underground. And there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first and then take the red train. Yes, well done, Peppa. Off we go! First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um... I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. <laughs> today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. 
<laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forwards, Susie! Forwards? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny! Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Pepper. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go! Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Yummy tasty food. Yummy tasty food. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are at a very special ah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? I think we can rustle up some orange juice. Let's see here. Aha! Ooh. The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished! Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Peppa has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid! Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited to eat her spaghetti. Ah! Finish! Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Peppa is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. 
I do wonder what's oh. taking him so long. Mm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped oh. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. Today, the cruise has stopped on an island, so Peppa and Granny Pig can go surfing. Oh. But there aren't mm. any waves. Where did all the waves go? It looks like the water is too calm for surfing today, Peppa. You can help me and George collect shells instead, if you like. Shiny! Whee! Hi! Oh, hello, everyone! What? I have a little paddle boat if you want to try it, Peppa. Oh! Ooh. Peppa is very <laughs> excited to try the paddle boat. Mm -hmm. Yes, please! <laughs> and Granny Pig can ride with me on my jet ski. Oh, but um, Granny Pig isn't sure she'll uh, enjoy Miss Rabbit's jet ski. Uh, Peppa and Granny Pig have put on some life jackets oh. and helmets to keep safe. <laughs> now they are ready to ride on the water. Peppa's paddle boat has pedals to make it go. That's right, Peppa. Pedal forwards to make the boat oh. move forward. <laughs> Does it go Off any Off we go! <laughs> Have you found any colourful <laughs> shells, George? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one's perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. George is finding lots of shells oh. on the beach. <laughs> How about we use the shells to make a picture? Pepper is oh. having lots of fun <laughs> out on the water. <laughs> Granny! <laughs> but Granny Pig is looking rather seasick. Too fast, Miss Rabbit! <laughs> George has made a dinosaur out of shells. Ooh, dinosaur! How clever! It just needs one more special shell for the eye. Well done, George. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's wave has washed George's shells back into the sea. Hello, oh. George. Hello, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, dear. But look, your special shiny shell is still here. Shiny! Wow. I like your sand dinosaur picture, George. George's <laughs> shells have left a dinosaur shape in the sand. Dinosaur! Peppa <laughs> loves having fun at the beach. Everyone loves having fun at the beach. Huh. Uh. 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 Wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens. <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please! Bop! 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 More tokens! Does this mean we can get a really big prize, Dad? 
Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Phew, that was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Another high school? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Peppa and her family are flying in an aeroplane. I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. <laughs> Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! Whee! <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. Oh! <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. <laughs> and so Pepper, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. <laughs> Look at these! The line work! <gasps> the attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray. hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah. Pancake pictures? Yes, we can. We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? Hmm. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next, 
Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Hello, Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madame Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. Today, Peppa's playgroup is having a very special lesson. Today we're learning about the 4th of July, American Independence Day. What's Independence Day? Independence Day is a day when Americans <laughs> celebrate all the things they love about their country. And we have a very special visitor. Happy Independence Day, everyone! <laughs> Mr. Bull has just been on holiday in America and has agreed to share some of the things he loved there with us. Let's start with an American party called a cookout. We can cook together using my new barbecue. I'll be the grill master. <laughs> Mr. Bull's barbecue is very big. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Bull. But we will have a barbecue later and outside. Right ho! First, we're going to dress up. Peppa and her friends are dressing up in the colors of the American flag red, white, and blue. <laughs> the grill master and his barbecue are fired up and ready to go. Is it time yet? No, Mr. Bull. We must decorate first. Oh, of course. Back to the grill I go. Way. Next, everyone is hanging red, white and blue decorations. Hooray! Now, Peppa and her friends are making an American flag. How many stars does an American flag have? Um, lots and lots. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my! That's lots and lots of stars, children. <laughs> the American flag has 50 stars. One for every state, you know. Now, is it time for the barbecue yet? Hmm. Yes, it's time. Hooray! Mr. Bull is very excited to use his barbecue. Hope y'all ready for some authentic American barbecue. Oh, oh, oh. But the barbecue has burned <gasps> all the food. Mm, what can we eat now? Don't you worry, I'm not just a grill master. I'm also a delicious all American apple pie master. I love apple pie. It's the most American food there is, especially with fireworks! Yeah! Everyone loves fireworks and apple pie, especially on Independence Day. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Pepper. Oh. Yeah. Mummy Pig is dropping Pepper off at Playgroup, but Mummy Pig is also looking after Baby Alexander. Oh, my. Mind if I clean up Alexander's smelly nappy before I go, Madam Gazelle? I insist. <laughs> oh, can we help clean him up? Please! <laughs> OK. Can you pass me the nappy cream from the changing bag? <gasps> and a fresh nappy. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Everyone likes helping <laughs> Mummy Pig change Baby Alexander's nappy. <laughs> there, fresh as a daisy. Can Baby Alexander play with us? Please! Well, I don't see why not. Hooray! Peppa is showing Baby Alexander all her favourite bits of the playgroup. These are the books. <laughs> Baby Alexander likes all the books. This is the whole world. <laughs> and he enjoys spinning the globe. <laughs> and this is Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, little Alexander. Oh! But he likes Madame Gazelle most of all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perhaps it is time for some painting. <laughs> Everyone is painting pictures of themselves, mm. called ah. self-portraits. I'm Peppa Paint. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. I'm Freddy. <laughs> I'm Susie. <laughs> and I'm Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> well done, baby Alexander. It looks like a tasty apple. Baby <gasps> Alexander's painting has reminded <laughs> Pepper that it's time for lunch. It's baby Alexander's mm. lunchtime too. He's eating special food for babies. Here comes the train, Alexander. Choo-choo! <laughs> Is baby Alexander's food nice, Mummy? He thinks so. Oh. oh my. Mind if I clean Alexander up again before we head off? I insist. I'll get the bag. Oh, let's go. Oh. Everyone loves having baby Alexander at playgroup. <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh dear. The car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry. I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Pepper <laughs> like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Oh, dear. I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh, good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh. oh dear. How long will it take? It will take oh, as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm. Maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. <gasps> it's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! Hooray! 
Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Peppa's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Peppa and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Pedro. I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. <laughs> Would you like to play vegetables in space at my house? Yes, yes please! please. <laughs> Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald Giraffe is an alien. And Pepper is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! Follow me. Pew, pew. Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon, just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. There aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Do you want to ride on my car, Susie? Buzz, buzz. Susie is <laughs> pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon. On the moon? Beep! The only thing on the moon is the moon! Beep! Papa! The moon is made of cheese. So maybe we can find some for lunch. Of course! <laughs> what was that? Was it a moon monster? No, Peppa. I am <gasps> your daddy. And I've brought you all some cheese sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon, but everyone loves lunchtime even more. Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many fun <gasps> arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh, but where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are enjoying <laughs> making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> oh. And Danny, that's a marvellous puddle. Whoop. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Whoop. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face <gasps> painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddy and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Peppa is green. I'm green. <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. 
Madame Gazelle has brought over a big ah. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun. Try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A, a star! star! Peppa yeah. loves... <laughs> Stop! Today, Peppa and her family <gasps> are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is! Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. <gasps> and another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> and another. <gasps> hmm. oh. <gasps> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Um... Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck. Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to, to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time. I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! <laughs> and much less slippery. It is morning, and uh -huh. Pepper is having some delicious breakfast. Oh. <sniffs> What's happened to the cereal? <laughs> April Fools! <laughs> April Fools? What's that? Today is April Fool's Day. It's a day where people make each other laugh by playing silly jokes. Like I just did with your cereal. I like silly jokes. <coughs> Can we do one on Daddy? <coughs> That's a great idea. Daddy Pig is reading on the sofa, but Mummy Pig and Pepper have come to play a joke on him. Could you please pass my glasses, Mummy Pig? Of course. Peppa and Mummy Pig are playing a joke on Daddy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> That's strange. 
These glasses have made it even harder to see. April Fools! <laughs> <Poo -poo. laughs> <laughs> oh, these are joke glasses. Very funny, but you won't be able to play another joke on me. I am much too clever for that. Peppa <laughs> is playing another joke on Daddy Pig. Oh, no. Huh? I can't open this tube of crisps. Can you help me, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. That gave me a fright. <laughs> April <laughs> Fools! <laughs> you got me again, Pepper. Well done. <laughs> Would you like to help me play an April Fool's Day joke on Mummy Pig, Pepper? <laughs> Pepper and her family have finished mm. dinner and are now eating dessert. <laughs> Aha! Me and Pepper have made a tasty chocolate cake for dessert, haven't we, Pepper? Yes. <laughs> How lovely! It looks delicious! <laughs> <laughs> My fork doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Try with your hands. Peppa and Daddy are playing a joke on Mummy Pig. <gasps> this isn't a cake. This is a sponge with icing on it. April, April Fools! Fools. <laughs> 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 what a clever joke. That reminds me. George brought some biscuits for you, Peppa. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, George. I love biscuits. <laughs> April Fools! Peppa <laughs> loves April Fools Day. Today, Peppa and George are going for a picnic <laughs> with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Nearly there! Whoa! It's Peppa's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you OK, Peppa? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic, but they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Peppa? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Peppa, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Peppa? Um, we need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> Got the blanket. need anything else, Peppa? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Well done, Peppa. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Peppa. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! Peppa has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! 
<laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it for them. Hooray! Hello, I'm King Peppa. It's another day at playground and everyone is pretending Peppa is the king. I'm the king and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Peppa is enjoying being king of the playgroup. She really likes all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs King. Mm. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Peppa? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. Oh. Now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Mm. Why, Mr Highness? Because hopping is fun. King Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop, hop. <laughs> King Pedro, you said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop, 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 hop. hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? <gasps> Meow. Yes, please. Hop, hop. <laughs> now Candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Now everyone has to be loud. Now quiet. <laughs> now loud. Everyone is enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Now George is the king. Hmm. sure. Hooray! King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even more. <laughs> wow! Oh my! Exciting! And that is acting. Ta-da! Today, Peppa's playgroup are having an acting class, led by very famous actor, Super Potato. No, please, you're much too kind. And now, children, it is your turn to try some acting. Ooh. Take a picture from this hat and then act out the feeling in the picture. Yep, yep, I'll go first. Freddy Fox has picked out sad as his feeling. So now he is pretending he is sad. Oh. He is acting. Oh. 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 Spectacular! Yep, yep. Now everyone try. Oh, oh. oh. woe is me. Are you all right, Super Potato? Of course. I am just acting. Everyone is very impressed with Freddy's acting. Who would like to go next? Can I go next, please? Peppa has picked out happy as her feeling. Now she must mm. act happy. <laughs> Why are you jumping, Peppa? Because jumping in muddy puddles makes me very happy. Brilliant! 
Let's all jump. Pretending to jump in muddy puddles makes everyone happy. <laughs> can I go next, please? Of course you can. Susie Sheep has picked out surprised as her feeling. Now she must act surprised. <gasps> <gasps> oh. Oh. oh! Oh, did I do it wrong? You did it right, Susie. Yay! Wonderful acting. Susie Sheep's surprised acting was so good, it surprised everyone. Good show, children. You are all movie stars in the making. Yes, you all did such super acting. I was very... Oh! Surprised! Yes, your acting was amazing and definitely did not make me... Oh! Sad! That's right. This has been a super class. So now I feel super... Happy! Peppa loves learning about feelings almost as much as she loves jumping in puddles. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm, something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <coughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold. There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. Oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, oh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For you. Oh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her family are watching a film at the cinema. Whoa! Hmm. Mummy, I need to go to the toilet. OK, Peppa, we'll go to the one just outside. We're just going to the toilet. The toilet? Good idea. Shh. <laughs> Oops. Oh dear, the toilet is closed for cleaning. But I really need to go. 
There's a public toilet just down the road. Follow me, everyone. Dinosaur. Peppa and her family have found a ah. toilet. Here's the toilet, Peppa. Let's join the queue. I'm afraid the queue starts over there. <gasps> but the queue for the toilet is very, very long. <laughs> I'm not sure I can wait that long. Hmm. There's a toilet in the supermarket. Let's try there. Peppa, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George look everywhere for a toilet. They try the supermarket. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh! They try the zoo. Ah. Sorry, Peppa! This toilet needs fixing! Oh! They even try a toilet shop. I'm sorry, but these toilets are for display purposes only. There are no toilets anywhere. <laughs> oh dear, now I need the toilet too. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the cinema toilet is open again. Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Finally, Peppa and her family are back to watch the film. <gasps> but now the film has ended. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to watch it from the start. Does anyone need the toilet first? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, what a frightfully loud horn. Today, Peppa and her family are on a cruise ship. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard. Are you ready for the safety tour? First mate Miss Rabbit has come to show them all the things that make the ship safe. I can't wait. I know a thing or two about boats, you know. I think I might have a tour of those sun lounges. Have fun. This way, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ooh. This big boat has lots of small boats hanging off the side. Ah. These are the lifeboats. If the ship stops working, we put on our life jackets and hop inside. Here's your life jacket, Peppa. <laughs> oh. oh, well, here's yours, Grandpa Pig. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> no running on the deck, please. The floor on a boat oh. is called the deck. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. On with the tour. Follow me <laughs> up the stairs. Hi, <laughs> Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. These look like big spinning spoons. They are the satellites. They tell the ah. ship which way to go. Are these giant mirrors, Miss Rabbit? Oh, <laughs> no, Peppa. These are... Well, they're... Um, what are they, Miss Rabbit? These are the solar panels. Our ship is powered by energy from the sun. Of course. Jolly good job, son. <laughs> One more stop on the tour to go. Time to head back down. <gasps> what a good idea, George. Hop in, everyone. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Whee! Ooh, this wow. is the bridge. Wow. This isn't a bridge, it's a room. The place where the captain drives a big ship like this is called the bridge. Oh, what do all these buttons do? I can answer that. I know a thing Ooh. or two about boats, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> this button turns the lights on. Whoops. <laughs> Um, and this lever makes us speed up. 
Oh. Ooh. Perhaps I ought to stop. Good idea. What does this button do? That's the foghorn. It makes a very loud noise that tells other boats we're nearby. Do you want to give it a push? Yes, please. Gosh! Oh! <laughs> what a frightfully loud horn! Sorry, Granny. <laughs> Peppa loves exploring the cruise ship, but she loves the foghorn most of all. Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly, Mr. Bull. No running. Sorry again. Mr. Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh! Ooh. Have a splendid time, Mr. Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks. Get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Peppa. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Granny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> oh! The finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's... A draw! Everybody wins! <laughs> Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Oh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no no splashing! It is dinner time, but dinner has been burned. Oh dear, do you think we can still eat it? <laughs> I think we should treat ourselves to a takeaway. Hooray! We choose what kind of food we like and it gets delivered to our house. There's Chinese takeaway, Indian takeaway or sushi. Can we have this one please? Peppa wants to order Chinese takeaway. Let's have this and this. And don't forget the special surprise. Ah. Peppa and her family have ordered lots of delicious food. <laughs> what happens now? Well, first the restaurant has to cook the food and then they'll deliver it. Oh, but how do they know where we live? I gave them our address when we ordered the takeaway. But how will it get here? Miss Rabbit will bring it on her bike. Oh, look! She's nearly here. Let's go and find her. <laughs> huh? Pepper and George have gone to the wrong door. Oh! oh. It's here! It's here! <laughs> <laughs> 
here's your takeaway, Pepper. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Got to dash. Lots of food to deliver. Rice, noodles, vegetable rolls. And a special Ooh. surprise for afterwards. Yay! Pepper and George don't know what the special <laughs> surprise is. Mmm, I love rice. And I love my spicy noodles. They're my favourite. Ooh, they might be my favourite too. Can I try some? Yes, but just try a tiny bit. Mmm, I love noodles. Oh, but they are a bit spicy. Spicy noodles are not Pepper's favourite. <laughs> Here. Try a vegetable spring roll. Mmm, vegetable spring rolls are my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her family have finished their Chinese takeaway. Are you ready for the special surprise? Hooray! These are called fortune cookies. They have a special message inside that brings you good luck. Ooh. This good luck tastes amazing. Pepper loves Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves Chinese takeaway. Oh, dear. There, there. Today, Pepper has found a video <laughs> of when she was a baby. I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Ho, ho. Huh. What are you doing, Pepper? Look. Now there's a baby in my tummy, too. Oh! <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Yum! Oh. Peppa has decided she has a craving, too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Pepper thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Pepper. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. Righto, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <laughs> Pepper likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. Oh, oh. <laughs> a little here and a little here. Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like foot tickles. <laughs> oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> Today, Peppa is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. <laughs> Bless you, Peppa. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called pollen. 
bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Thank you for helping the flowers, <laughs> little bee. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Pepper. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small. So it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes. So you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. Oh. Peppa isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean, buzz buzz! Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Pepper loves honey sandwiches, and Pepper loves bees for all the kind things they do. Ah! Almost got you! Peppa is trying very hard to open a piñata and get the treats inside because today Peppa's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! Aha. Oh. Oh. I can't make the flower. I will help you. <laughs> mm. This is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Guacamole! Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados, and you eat it with carrots or <gasps> cucumber or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole! <laughs> guacamole! 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 <laughs> Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mmm, guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious! 
delicious. Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Peppa has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying... <laughs> Today, Peppa's playgroup are on a trip to the lake. They are going to row boats. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, everyone! Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. Are you ready to row boats today? <gasps> oh, yes. The rowing boats are just over there. Let's go. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing life jackets and helmets to keep them safe on the boats. <laughs> you all look ready to get going. Peppa, Susie and Pedro, you'll be in the red rowing boat with me and Grumpy Rabbit. Bye. And Mandy, Emily and Danny will be in the blue rowing boat with me and Captain Dog. Quick. To row the boat, you have to put this special stick called an oar in the water and pull like this. Heave ho! Now you try. Everyone is very excited to row the boats themselves. But no one is working together. Why isn't the boat moving, Miss Captain Rabbit? Everyone needs to row together all at once, like this. When I say heave, we push. And when I say ho, we pull. <laughs> Let's all try together. Heave, ho. Well done. Hooray! The boat is moving along the water. Everyone is working together as a team. Everyone is having lots of fun rowing their boats, but it is almost time to go home. Time to row back to shore now, children. Your parents have come to collect you. Squeak, can we race to the shore? A wonderful idea, Mandy. Is everyone ready? Ready! On your marks, get set, go! Everyone is rowing as fast as they can back to the shore. Peppa is helping her friends row as a team. Weave on. <laughs> Weave slow. Um, believe, go. Almost there. It's neck and neck. It's a draw. Well done, children. Everyone loves rowing boats, and everyone loves working as a team. Go! Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. 
Hmm, maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Pepper. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Ruff, ruff. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. <laughs> <laughs> you scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a witch. Peppa, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, and Freddy Fox are dressing up to play a game. I'm going to be a brave knight. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a footballer. Hooray! Now we can go on an adventure. <laughs> Pepper is imagining George is a goblin. Let's pretend we have to rescue Teddy from that goblin. <gasps> yes! That's George, Pepper. We're just <laughs> pretending, Freddy. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Look, there's the goblin and Teddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig is fast asleep. Let's pretend Daddy is a sleeping dragon. Shh. And let's pretend the living room is a cave. <laughs> Follow me. We have to be quiet so we don't wake the dragon. <laughs> Quickly, hide! <laughs> oh, goodness, I must have dozed off. Now we have to save Teddy from that big castle. We'll use magic to rescue Teddy. And I'll use my football. Hello, little goblin. We're here to rescue Teddy. George doesn't want to be a goblin. Oh, do you want to help us rescue Teddy instead? Mm-hmm. <laughs> But if George isn't a goblin, then who has Teddy? Dinosaur! Now everyone is pretending that the dinosaur has Teddy. Teddy has been rescued by the witch, the wizard, 
the brave knight, a footballer and George, who is not a goblin. Pepper and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Pepper, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes. Baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? <laughs> Whoa! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> oh. Squeak! Big bugs! This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant, it's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Whoa! Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! yes! <laughs> Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Peppa. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? Bzz, bzz. Well, go. Bzz. Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. Bees follow the sun to find their way. 
Buzz. We could follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. <laughs> Beautiful work, everyone. <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. Squeak! It's so pretty! But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack! It has big wings. Or a dragon. Rawr! And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. It's a... <gasps> Butterfly! Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the Big Bug Museum. <laughs> Peppa is having lots of fun playing in the snow with her friends. <laughs> That's cold. But every game they play seems to cover them in cold snow. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Peppa, you're covered in snow. I think it's time to come inside and warm up, or you'll turn into a snow monster. <laughs> snow monsters don't exist, Daddy. Can we play for five <gasps> more minutes? Please? Oh, all right then. Five more mi... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Peppa and her friends play lots of games in the snow. They aren't worried about turning into snow monsters at all. Let's play snowballs. Yay! <laughs> You'll never get me, Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded like... Has anybody seen my glasses? A, A snow, snow monster! <laughs> Quick, let's hide. Oh dear. Let's hide here. Phew! The snow monster won't find us here. <gasps> The snow monster has found them. Peppa, it's me! <laughs> oh, that's not a snow monster. <laughs> it's Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> I told you there's no such thing as snow monsters. Come on, Daddy. We'll make you warm again and melt all this snow. And look for my glasses on the way. Oh! Your glasses! Hooray! Thank you, Susie. Daddy Pig is very glad to be back home oh. in the world. He's not a snow monster anymore. <laughs> Everyone is warming up inside with hot chocolate. Even snow monsters like hot chocolate. <laughs> Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. 
wrapping present is really fun. You can put the bow on top. <laughs> no, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. Hmm. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> 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 <laughs>